So let's open this package. Let's see. Package uh, Louis delivered is on the bed, right? What's in there? What? A single brown notebook is inside the brown box. Huh? What's this supposed to be? There's no order sheet. This isn't Ed's package. That moron Louis brought me the wrong package. <laughs> And I gotta pay for the- Oh, my suitcase is still broken. I got the old notebook that was inside the package. The title written on the cover of the notebook is the secret word. And that's it. And then now it's in here. Okay. Why is it in such a big ass box like that anyway? Um. Okay. I see a hanger right here. But it looks like it's... Maybe we can use this to open the suitcase. The hanger's attached to the rack. Do people really try to steal these? It's attached to the... I've never seen this before. A hanger made of thick wire. <sighs> okay. So we gotta find something to cut that off then. Or do we just rip it off? Sure, next to the phone. <gasps> a paper clip! Can we just use a paper clip? A paper clip, huh? Better hang on to this when it comes in handy. <laughs> I love it when he does that smile. It's like so smug. If I straighten this out. There we go. Nice and straight. I got a piece of thin wire. Let's see if I can pick the lock of my suitcase. It instantly was like, nah fam, this isn't gonna work. It didn't even let me try hard enough. This ain't gonna work. I need to get my suitcase open with this thin wire. Fuck! I'm gonna need a thick piece of wire. Okay, let's look around the bathroom then, because that's something I didn't actually do. How nice is the bathroom? Oh hey, that's not bad. What's the point in here? Someone's coming out of room 219. Oh, we've almost reached an hour, guys. Hmm? Ah! <laughs> oh, yeah, kid. I'm coming back. I'm getting my revenge. <laughs> hey, kid. What? What's the score? Hey, kid. I'm talking to you. My name's not Kid. Yeah, I know. Your name's Melissa. Hey! You know my name? Of course I do. Don't underestimate adults, kid. We know things. Yeah, right. Whatever. Seriously, kid. Stop playing on the stairs. It's a hassle. I'm not gonna play on the stairs anymore. But I lost something really important. And now I won't be able to see my mom. Surprise. 
promised my dad. I gotta do whatever he says with no back talk. If I don't, we won't see my mom. We'll just go home. That's why I'm not gonna be a brat anymore. That's kind of mean. What do you mean you're gonna see your mom? My mom's not home. some hospital somewhere. A sawbone, huh? Yeah, I guess. And my mom works at an art museum. Her name's Grace. My mom's... I didn't ask about your mom, kid. Oh. Fine, go ahead. What's your mom like? What's she like? She's nice and pretty and she bakes really good birthday cakes. What else? Well, she's... Well, she always says nice stuff about my drawings. I used to draw pictures of my mom all the time. Pictures of your mom? Uh-huh. Sounds like a class act. Why don't you draw a picture of her in this? I open my notebook and give it to Melissa. Sure, I guess. Melissa drew a picture in my notebook. There. That was fast. Hmm. Oh, right. Guess I'll give her back that puzzle piece I found on the stairs. Oh. See, Hyde likes to pretend like he's a tough guy, but in the inside, he's, he's, he's just a little sweetheart. Okay, so Nemo, I think. There it is. Oh. Okay. So that's what the mom looks like. Cool. Um. Hey. What? Here is your puzzle piece back. This is yours, isn't it? Oh! Here. The thank you! This puzzle was a present from my mom. It's my treasure. Oh my god! Huh? Your... Melissa, what are you doing? Dad, I was... Get back in this room right now, young lady. Okay. The two of them go into room 219. What's up with that guy? I can see why his wife split. Oh, shit. Damn. Okay, wait, so. Sorry it's all slowed down, guys. I'm trying to do my best. Um, in these settings, but when I start recording, it's just kind of, it, it, it just, it, it gives out, you know. It goes a little slow. Um, hmm. Oh, shit. What? 
She's a ghost. What are you? Oh, he said, who are you? Oh my God. Hey. You got a second? Hey. Touch her shoulder. Invade her personal space. Oh. Hey, it's the girl we saw on the highway. Huh? That's her. That's the girl I saw in the drive out here. It's you. I saw you standing alone by the side of the road. You were on the side of the highway about an hour from here? What? What's wrong? Not you? What's going on? Why won't she say anything? Why is everybody weird? Huh? Wait a minute. Sorry, are you deaf? I didn't mean to. She can hear just fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> why did I make... I already know who this character is because I love her. She's great. But why did I make her super sassy? I mean, she's already sassy, but I made her seem like a black maid sassy. You know, anyways. There's a voice behind me. What'd you say, Tybee? <laughs> Um, but she said, but she hasn't said boo since she arrived. Don't ask me why not. I don't know. Who are you? Why did I say it like that? Me? I'm Rosa, the maid and the cook. Who are you? Rosa, huh? So you're Rosa. Mm-hmm. That's right. Rosa, you got it. Why are you asking? Who's been talking about me again? Yeah, I ran into Dunning at the front desk. He came out screaming because he thought I was you. Oh, did he now? Yeah, that sounds like Mr. Smith. Sorry about that. I bet the boss was lost in one of his hockey games, as usual. He's supposed to be watching the front desk. Of course, he never does. The man is useless. Totally useless. Right. So who's the girl? Her? Miss Taki over there? That's Mila. Why? Why are you asking? There's something you need from her? Who are you anyways? I haven't seen you around here before. That doesn't surprise me. I'm a guest. You probably don't see too many in this place. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't I feel silly. I didn't realize. I assumed you were one of those traveling salesmen. Wait a second. A salesman, huh? I look like a salesman? Uh, a salesman, huh? Why'd you think I was a salesman? Red crown? What? The jacket. On your back, you're wearing one of their jackets, aren't you? Yes, I am. So then I was right, wasn't I? Yeah, I knew it. Mm -hmm. I bought some things from one of your salesmen before. He gave me a song and dance about how great your stuff is. Of course, he lied. Do me a favor. Get your company to sell things that are worth a darn. So tell me, what's your name? Wait, let me guess. Um, no, I have no idea. Kyle Hyde. Oh. So you're the man staying in room 215. Shoulda known, shoulda known. Look at that. You do know me. <laughs> Your bellhop delivered a package a few minutes ago. But it wasn't mine. Huh? What? He brought you the wrong package? What a dolt. But. Yeah. Looks like he got his wires crossed somewhere. Sorry about that. I'll make him look into it. Don't worry about a thing. Cool. Now who's this girl? 
Because apparently Kyle's trying to shoot his shot. No, I'm just kidding. She looks like she's like, I don't know, 15 or something. So the girl's name is Mila. Oh yeah, sure. Well, that would be my guess. I mean, that's what the bracelet on her left arm says. Bracelet? Wait. That looks like... That's impossible. The bracelet Bradley was wearing. It couldn't be. What is it? Something wrong? What's wrong? No, it, it's nothing. Uh, okay, fine by me. So, the girl. Is she staying here tonight? Yeah, I think so. I'll probably drop her in my room. going to drop her? What do you mean? It means I'll let her stay in my room as a favor. You have a room? Yeah, that's right. A room. I work here and live here too. Lousy deal, I know. But that poor young girl's obviously lost. So what can I do? Nothing, that's what. I thought only little kids get lost. Well, she might be a smid. She might be a, a smidged old to be called lost, but she sure looks out of place. I heard she was just standing out on the side of the road, poor thing. She doesn't have any luggage or anything. Did she make it here all on her own? Yeah, does she walk all the way? No, she got a ride. Hitchhiked. That young man who checked in earlier brought her. I guess he saw her on his way here and picked her up. But then he found out she doesn't talk, so he left her here. You believe it? Pretty cold if you ask me. Leaving her leaving her here all alone like that just ain't right. So who's who's the guy? Who brought her in? Fellow's name is Jeff Angel. He's in 213. Oh, that weirdo? Why? Why'd you ask? Do you know? Yeah, we met. I met him. Briefly. Bri briefly. Briefly. That's so. Then you understand what I'm talking about. He looks harmless enough, right? But it's the ones that look sweet that you have to fear. And that's for a fact. I'm sure he just picked her up because she's cute, and then abandons her. What a creep. The front desk phone is ringing. Please answer it. That ringing bothers me so much. The phone again. Guess I gotta do everything around here. Sheesh. Rosa runs to the front desk and answers the phone. Hotel dust front desk. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. How's that again? Got the wrong package. Bellhop brought it up. Nope, doesn't surprise me one bit. Huh? Who's it for again? Kyle Hyde. Yeah. No. No, I hear you. Don't yell. I'm not deaf. That package should have been delivered to the guest in 215. Oh, you don't have to do that. Well, sure. But, okay, okay. I understand. I'll contact the guest in 215, sir. Sorry for the inconvenience. Rosa finishes talking and hangs up on the phone. Don't think I didn't notice Kyle listening to her on the phone and when she said, <laughs> when she said, don't yell, I'm not deaf, he nods. <laughs> uh, that sounds promising. Seems we found your missing package. Good timing, huh? That was another guess. Sounds like he got it by mistake. He says he'll take it... He says he's take it over to your room. 
pretty nice of him. Works for me. I think that's about covers it, right? Now I just go, now you just go on up and wait in your room. Go on now, move it. Come on, honey, let's go. You just stick with Rosa and let her take care of you. What, she nodded, she can hear. Rosa, Rosa and Mila walks off to the far end of the lobby. Mila, huh? That was the name of Bradley's kid sister. Shit. Oh, it's 520. We still gotta figure out how to get the suitcase open so we can pay our fucking bill thingy. Hmm. Let's go up to our room. Meet this unsuspecting guest member. Oh. Maybe I should have a chat with Jeff Angel about Mila. Okay. Yes? What is it? I met a girl in the lobby named Mila. Mila? Who's that? You should know. You brought her here. Oh. Her. Didn't even know her name. What about her? She never told you her name? Maybe. I don't remember. Awkward silence. Why'd you bring her here? She asked me to. She said she had to go to Hotel Dusk. She can't talk! Wait, wait. She asked? Question mark? Why'd you pick her up? She asked you? She asked you to bring her here? Of course. Well, kinda. Actually, she never said a word to me. She didn't talk. So how'd you know she wanted to come here? She had a brochure of the hotel, you know? You know, paper, little pictures. Anyways, I figured it was her stop. So she knew about this hotel, did she? Are you practicing to be in echo chamber or something? Yeah, she knew. She was carrying a brochure from this hotel. I don't get why it's so hard for you. I asked her where she was headed. She showed me the brochure. I needed a place to stay too. And I figured one place was as good as another. So here I am. Believe me, I wouldn't have stopped if I knew what a dump it really was. You need anything else? No. All right. Goodbye, then. What a dick. Jeff finishes talking and shuts the door. <sighs> he's kind of a mini asshole. I don't like that kid. Plus, he's weird as fuck. Oh my god, another guest. Who is this? Huh? The door opens on the right side of the hallway and a woman steps out. Oh. Oh, hello. You must be the man from room 215. Yeah. Who are you? I'm staying in 216. That's a funny name. I'm Iris. Iris, huh? You're not much of a conversationalist, are you? No, but I can carry a tune. I'm sure you can carry all manners of things, Mr... Hyde. Kyle Hyde. Mr. Hyde, hmm? I'll make a note of it. Make a note of it? What the hell is that supposed to mean? You need something? No, not really. Just confirming a hunch. What? What do you want to confirm? I merely wanted to see what manner of man is staying in this room, that's all. Why? Well, it would be awful if some lowlifer was staying here, hmm? 
I gave specific instructions upon check-in, but it seems that no one listened. I demanded that no one stay in the room next to me or across the hall. And yet, the owner gave you 215 and never said a word to me. Appealing, isn't it? What? What's she rambling about? <laughs> what is your line of work, Mr. Hyde? I'm a salesman. I'm not answering that. Ooh. Um. Just tell her you're a salesman. Who cares? Traveling salesman. Is that so? Well, that's a relief. You feel relieved? Why is that? Because it means you won't try to take my picture, Mr. Hyde. Your picture? You're cute and all, but I wouldn't do that. <laughs> um, I got better things to do. Ha! <laughs> Good day, Mr. Hyde. I'll be... Yo, Hyde! Huh? Making your sales pitch to the ladies, huh? I love it. My man! Ow! <laughs> oh, please. Don't mind him. He's just the bellhop. I know who he is. He carried my bags when I checked in. I believe his name is Louis Denano. But I have that. Uh, but I have that. Do I have that right? Hey, she remembered. Now I can die happy. I couldn't very well forget you introduced yourself about a thousand times. You need me for something, Louie? Yeah, actually, I'll take this as my cue to excuse myself, gentlemen. Iris returns to her room. What are the chances of a dame like that, uh, that a... Oh. What are the chances a dame like that would be across the hall? Of all the lousy luck. So she must be famous or something, seeing as, like, she was saying, like, you wouldn't take my picture. Like, what does that mean? Anyways. Sorry, man. Didn't mean to interrupt you. Don't worry. It was perfect timing. Whatever you say, man. What do you want? Nothing really, man. I just saw you chatting up the fox, you know? Thought maybe I could sneak in a couple of lines myself, steal her heart. You're an idiot. And <laughs> here's more proof that I'm right. You brought me the wrong package. Two packages to deliver, and you got them both wrong. Nice work, Louie. What? Luckily, when I went down to the front desk, the guy who got my package called. He's gonna drop it by my room later. So we're all cool then, right, man? No, we're not cool. You're an idiot, and I'm ticked off. Chill, brother. <laughs> no need to blow a flu. No need to blow a fuse. Yeah. Anyways, gotta blow. Louis leaves. Same old Louis. Oh boy. All right. Oh, shit, I can't. No, just, just stop. Just, there we go. Oh boy. Oh. <sighs> huh? Who's there? Is that the guy with our package? Um. Begging your par or begging your pardon, but are you Kyle Hyde? That's right. And did you perhaps receive a call from the front desk about the parcels? Yeah. You the guy who called down earlier? The very same. My name is Martin Summers, and I'm currently logged in room two eleven. Martin Summers, huh? I've heard that name before. At any rate, about the parcel. Yeah? The footboy delivered a parcel to my room some time ago. 
Unfortunately, it appears he somehow brought me the wrong one. However, yeah. Please forgive me, but I failed to notice until now after I opened it. The contents were not what I was expecting, you see. At any rate, I saw the name Kyle Hyde on the forum. And so here I am. Hey. You <laughs> don't read my stuff. You like my name. Um, what? <laughs> um. What? So I can either yell at him about reading my stuff, which is fine, because I totally did the same thing, or I could be like, you like my name, huh? It's pretty good. Let's just say you like my name. <laughs> good name, isn't it? <laughs> Indeed. Quite a nice name, actually. <laughs> Skip the explanation. I got a short attention span. It, is that so? <laughs> Our packages got swapped. Mine was delivered to your room, right? And the one I got here is probably yours. That about covers it? Yes, I do believe that summarizes the situation. So where's my package? Oh yes, I brought it with me. It's right here. That's it, huh? Yes. Okay, I've heard of you. Martin Summers. I've heard that name before. Yes, that's not surprising. Perhaps you've read across my name in a magazine or a newspaper. Does that strike a familiar tone, Mr. Hyde? Huh? I suppose it's possible that you've actually read one of my books? No? Maybe. You're a writer. Yes, that is correct. Although I prefer to think of myself as an author. I pen novels mostly, although I have dabbled in others, more obscure mediums. Novels, what kind? Mysteries. They sell? Yes, they do all right. You can find my work in most bookstores of note. Why you look pissed off that I said that? I have quite a large female fan base, actually. Oh, look at this badass over here, excuse me. You don't say. <laughs> have you perhaps read any of my novels? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> it literally says that. Uh, da da da, yeah, da da da, sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna say no. Because you obviously have it. Nope. I see. Well, not woolly unexpected, but a shame nonetheless. If you get a chance, I hope you will read it. Read one, huh? Sure, why not? Now then, Mr. Hyde, shall we discuss my parcel, which was unadvertedly delivered to you? Sure, I'm game. All that was in the package was this notebook. I show Summers the old notebook. Eureka! That's it! <laughs> this is the notebook. This is what I have been waiting for. Great, then I'll take my package from you and we'll call it a day. Yes, please do. Doesn't look like he can take his eyes off that notebook. Guess he was really looking forward to getting it. Must be a writer thing. Let me just take I pick up the box that Summers brought with him. I toss it on the bed. Hey. Oh, yes. My apologies. Let me just... Hey. Hmm? Oh, oh yes. Yes, I, I suppose I should depart. It was fortunate for both of us that we discovered this mistake when we did. Now, if you'll excuse me, Summers finishes talking and leaves the room, stupid writers. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Here's our box. Let's open that. Package brought is on the bed. Package Summers brought, whatever. 
There's an old sheet, new products, and a client list in the box. So what's this? There's the client list, just like Rachel promised. Okay. Better, better remember to put it in my suitcase. Right. Oh, we still gotta unlock the suitcase! Jesus Christ. Um. <laughs> Excuse me. How long have I been recording? 30 minutes? We'll go for like, I guess, 45. I don't know. This is gonna be the longest fucking video to upload ever. Um. It's the order sheet. Cool. I got the order sheet that was inside the box. The item I'm supposed to find are listed on here. One, a small red box. Two, the December issue of a magazine with Seely Lee on the cover. Guess it's time to call Rachel. Who the fuck is Seely Lee? And what is this other bullshit? Hold on. That's it? Well, obviously some of the stuff that was on that list isn't in this box. Adhesive and a fucking sewing machine. Cool. It's not even like... It's adhesive spray, but whatever. Let's call Rachel. I should probably save at one point. Because <laughs> if I have to start all this over, I'm gonna be not happy. Okay, red crown, this is Rachel. It's hide, I got the package. I knew you would, sweetie. A red box, a girly mag, I'm thrilled. Who's the client on this one? Somebody new. Seems to be in a hurry, too. You figured it's some sort of business deal gone wrong? That's what it sounds like. But who knows what's in the box? Uh, but who knows what's in the box? Could be trouble. My old friend. Any idea where to start? Yeah, I'll head down to the front desk and poke around in the lost and found. If that doesn't work, guess I gotta canvas the hotel. Nice plan, handsome. Let us know if you come up with anything. Head around. He just stepped out. Some old client called and asked to see him. Said he'll be right back though. Why, do you need something? No rush. I'll call back. I've got a weird feeling about this one, Kyle. Be careful. Only because you asked. It's cute. Ed Vincent's the president of Red Crown. He's an ex-LA cop who worked like a dog till they forced him to retire. My old man died when I was 10, but he and Ed were good friends. And as for me, well, Ed's the only one who knows I'm still searching for Bradley. The only one who knows I won't let it go. But now I run into Louie another voice from the past. What are the chances of him being here, slim to none, and slim left town? <sighs> Throw this girl Mila into the mix and things get nine kinds of odd. I'd better think all this through and make sure it's straight in my head. Mmm. Hmm, okay. Now that I know what I'm looking for, it's time to start searching the hotel. But the job feels different somehow. Off. Maybe it's because I ran into Louie. Haven't seen him for three years. Or maybe it's because there was another guest named Kyle Hyde. Guess that girl I met by the front desk could be behind it too. Whatever it is, Bradley, I can't get you out of my head. I feel like I'm gonna find something big here. Something that's gonna lead me to whatever. Uh, something that's going to lead me to wherever it is you disappeared to. Tell you what, Bradley, I think it's gonna be a long night.
Save your game. Yes. All right. Well, what now? Guess I have to start searching this dump. Alright guys, well I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. We've been going strong for about an hour. Maybe longer. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. This is probably gonna be like a gaming and chill sort of situation. Um, man, this is gonna be a bitch to like render and stuff. I already know. <laughs> But hopefully you guys enjoy this. Also, I'm kind of thinking I should make sins that look like the characters in these games. I don't know. Um, sounds fun. Might do it. You guys probably won't even watch this. I'll probably get like th three views. Who knows? But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give me a like. If you're new to the channel and you happen to stumble across it, go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>